Voicemails can remain on your iPhone forever. They won't expire or disappear unless you accidentally or intentionally delete them. That said, the voicemail section of your iPhone can be cluttered with old messages. You may want to save your voicemails for many reasons. The number one reason I can think of is preserving the words of a loved one. I can locate that voicemail whenever I want and listen to the message over and over again. The easiest way to save a voicemail on your iPhone is by using the share sheet menu. So let me show you how that works and how it should be set up correctly. Come into the phone app, select voicemail in the bottom right corner, then select the voicemail that you want to save, and now select the share icon in the upper right corner. Here you'll see a listing of all of the places that you can share that voicemail or save that voicemail to. If I scroll through the menu options, you don't see everything listed there. I'll go ahead and tap on more. And then these are all of the options that are available to me right now. If I don't see the option that I'd like to use, I can go ahead and tap on edit in the upper right corner and you'll see that I have a favorites area where I can add things to the favorites area so that they appear at the beginning of that share sheet uh, section. And to add something to the favorite, you just go ahead and tap on the plus sign, and then you can arrange these by dragging them in the order that you want. Now, if you see options that the toggle switch is turned off, then they're not available in the share sheet menu. But if you toggle that switch on, those options will now be available in the share sheet. So once you have that share menu set up correctly, go ahead and tap on done. Now that we have the share menu set up the way that we want it, let's go over how to save a voicemail as an audio file in the Voice Memo app, the Notes app, and the Files app. Once we've selected the voicemail that we want to save in the Voice Memos app, and we've tapped on the share icon, we just come into that share option area and select Voice Memos. Once I select voice memos, you can see that it gives the voicemail uh, a name. You can change that name by just tapping into it and, you know, selecting what you want it to be. So I'm going to type in the name of the individual that sent that voicemail, and I'm going to go ahead and tap on save. And when I do, that voicemail will be saved to the voice memos app. To access it, I'm going to swipe up out of my phone app and I'm going to locate voice memos. And if you don't see your voice memos uh, there, type it in and it will appear. I'm going to go ahead and tap on voice memos and you'll see that the recording that I labeled Steve is at the very top of all of my recordings. I can go ahead and tap on that recording I can tap on play to play that voicemail, and that's how easy it is to save a voicemail to the Voice Memos app. Another option for saving voicemails is the Notes app. And so to do that, you'll come back into the phone app. You'll come to the voicemail icon in the bottom right corner, select the voicemail that you want to save, and then again, tap on the share icon. Once I tap on the share icon, now I'll go ahead and choose the notes app. And a new note will be created. If I want to label that note, I'm going to tap in where it says, you know, add, add text. And at this point, I'm just going to put in the name of the individual again, who sent me the voicemail. And I'll go ahead and I'll tap on save the top right hand corner. When I do, now that message has been saved to the notes app. And so to access it, I'll come into the notes app. And if you don't see notes again, type it in in the search bar. 
the Notes app will appear, select it, and then I'm going to go ahead and uh, tap on All iCloud. And when I do, that voice memo is listed again at the top, and here it is. All I need to do is press the play button to listen to it. You can also save an audio clip of your voicemail to the files folder. So again, select the voicemail that you'd like to save, tap on the share icon, and this time you'll scroll down until you see the option save to files. Go ahead and tap on that. And again, if you tap into where it says voicemail 443, you can go ahead and change uh, the title of that uh, clip. So again, I'm just going to title it Steve, and I'm going to tap on Done. And once I do that, the name has been changed, but I have to save it. So you can save it to iCloud Drive or a folder inside of iCloud Drive, or you can even tap on the folder with a plus sign at the top if you have more than one voicemail to save, and you could name that folder voicemail. So I'll go ahead and I'll do that. Sorry about that. And then I'll tap on done, and I'll go ahead and tap on save. And now to locate that, you'll want to go into the files folder. So I'll pull down, I will start typing in files. I'll tap on the files folder. And then I'm going to go ahead and the voicemail, as you can see, because it's the most recent thing that we've downloaded, it shows up in the top left corner because it's the most recent thing we've downloaded. I can go ahead and tap on that. I can tap on the voice mem or the voice uh, file itself come into that area and play that voicemail anytime I want. Now you never need to worry about losing a voicemail or the sound of a loved one's voice. Just save them to the notes, voice memos, or the files app and share them with others. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.